What's up, YouTubers? Smitty here from Smitty's Corner. Just going to give y'all a shout out, let y'all know what we got going on today. Doing a little bit of work on the old 2020 Jeep Willys. Are you not going to come help me make some dinner? I got this right here. We just hey. did a little bit on it. Swap here. These are those Demon Eye Halos. See if I can get them switch over. I ain't done it since. There we go. They see they're green. My personal favorite. I know those greens look pretty good. Blue. Of course, this is Mrs. Car. So it's going on pink. Skippy, skippy. But they weren't too hard to hook up. No, sorry, y'all. Came right in here. Ran this in the fuse box for the cigar. Cigarette lighter, or what would be. Grind it out right here. Uh, wrap these two yellow wires. Each of them run down here. I didn't really care about hiding them here too much. Uh, I did a little better right up in here. As you can see, I ran it up under, right up under the front right here. One goes over to one side. I don't know if you can see that down in there, right there. And the other goes to the other side. You can see them in there, and I do have them all zip tied in there, looking, looking delish. Just came out here, popped this out, took this bolt out, took that bolt out, peeled this back a little bit, and pulled the bulb out from here. You so your turn signal slash parking lot, I guess, day running light. And damn, I cleaned them up. Hold on. I'm gonna show y'all what I use because it made my job so much easier. Excuse the mess. It's a little bit too small for why we're working at. Right here. So I don't know if y'all have ever seen these before. But credit to another YouTuber that I was watching. That showed me these. I was watching a video on how to do this. These are so badass. Wish I'd have known about these back in the day. So, what I basically did was my wire that was for the turn signal, which was on, in my case, it was the white wire with the green stripe. Um, just slid it right here in the first one, right here. And then my yellow wire, as you can see down there, there's blue. And you see my finger on one side. So, on the inside, I just slid the yellow wire down in there. And then you just fold these over just like that, squeeze it down, and that will cut into the wire itself. But then you got to squeeze this a little bit more, some channel locks, just to get it to bite really good. Um, and then I actually ran duct tape around it, so we'll scrap that one now. But I mean, a, 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 this whole thing, these are called. Um, Oh my goodness. What is that? Splice wires without stripping. A stripping quick splice set. I guess you could look for that. Put that back up in the cabinets. I know, I've got a lot of junk in here, man. Got a lot of junk. Too small a building for so much stuff. Mind the old lawnmower. The old boat. She's about ready to get out. Got the old 2020 J, JL. But these were pretty simple. Uh, deep, like I said, Demon Eye Halo lights. Um, and all it is, there's, there's two, uh, what do you call them, like jumper or something. It, it, it goes so that you can plug in this light to the stock plug-in in there. And like I said, you just splice that yellow wire in over here, run it up through here. This has two connections connected here. And then that yellow wire will come up here and it'll just stick together. Real simple, real simple. It'll just pop together. Same thing with this one. And then you run the other one over. Like I say, we ran it up under here, down through here. And then you just, same thing over here and peel this back and run it right through here, pop that light out, connect it in and stick it together. I know, I was trying to get my old lady to die and record this while I was doing it, but she wouldn't do it. But it's not really that hard. It's not really that hard. And the only thing with the fuse, 
So if you run it up through here, put it in here, I just, just pull this fuse out, existing fuse out, plug it into the top here, and then plug this back in. It is hot. Now I tell you, I did have to cut this black wire, just the casing, rubber casing here a little, just to get me a little more room and play with the power wire here so that I could get it to run out the back over here without, you know what I mean, up under here so it wasn't like in the seal part, not in the loud and close, but fairly good, fairly good. And they work, they work fairly, they work good. I mean, it's from a missus. Her daily job. I'm not so sure I'd put them on mine, but. You see what they do? That's her over there. Yo, beast to the southeast. Oh, yeah. So, F250 2013. So, 6 7 with the stage 2 on here. That's what it is over there, there see. <laughs> She's a bad bitch. But they're pretty good. She's happy with them. She likes them. That's what matters to me, right? Right. So we got that done. And that one, that one wasn't too bad. That was the easier of the two that we did today. The second one now. I'm saying a heart. Now I'm just gonna want to tell you what. The second one, this bit right here. That bit right here. That motherfucker right here was aggravating. Really wasn't that bad. There was a couple videos I felt they could have done a little better job on doing it. And if I'd have known a little bit more about what I was doing, I should have recorded this. We had everything hooked up. Uh, our AC didn't want to work at first. But like I said, there's a couple videos on... Um, what are these called? The uh, Link-wise, I think. The T7s or the uh, T-radios. But, I mean, it wasn't that bad. I, we had everything hooked up. There's just... It looks crazy when you open the box just because there's so many wiring harnesses. I mean, there are so many wiring harnesses, but there's, it's because it's like a universal kit. So don't wig out. All right, now I, our bag was labeled for the 2020 Jeep. So everything we needed was in that bag. Less of one plug, which in the video he told us we didn't need. Matter of fact, I don't even think I have it anymore to show it to you. I think I've already thrown it away. But the biggest thing I will tell you, the only thing I haven't figured out is if y'all can see that. The front doors are opposite for some reason. I hadn't figured that one out yet. The back doors, they do they do fine. They do the right side. But the front doors do opposite sides, and I haven't figured it out. Uh, now, I will say, when you get in here, first thing you need to do is, in your systems, go through all your setting guides. Go through, you got like your car model AC. See, it'll pull up Jeep, Wrangler. Now it's got, you know, Dodge, Nissan, Honda, Toyota, GM, Ford, or none, whatever. So we select Wrangler. And yeah, you just make sure your protocols. And there's a PDF you can go to. They have it in one of their videos um, where you can just double check and make sure what these are. Now your manual... See, we have it on manual AC, but that's because we had the manual switches down here. They were right here before where we had the knobs and you had to push the buttons and everything to make it work. That's your manual. Your manual AC. So on your car info, click on there. You got manual AC, auto, single zone. So we got manual. Boot logo. Um, don't really know yet. Hadn't done enough. But uh, it did say to be on simple. I'm, a, I'm assuming because when you look at the rest of these, I got no clue what that is. So... Leave it on simple, hit OK. All right, now I said it couldn't do that. So the only thing we had to do is hit this back button right up here one time, come back to this page at setting guide, then you go down here and hit save and reboot and OK. I do like it though, it is pretty badass. The only other thing too was uh, with the stock subwoofer back here, I will tell you there is in your settings there's a, a, a switch in here and i'll show it to you here in a minute where it's for your factory amp 
It's whether or not you want to turn it on or off. We had to actually turn ours off in order for it to kick on. I don't know if that's because maybe we hooked something up backwards back here or not, but either way, like when I turned it off, I don't know if that, that might be, I don't know. We could have just got something swapped around. But like I said, the two videos I watched is in detail as they were, I thought they could have been a little bit better. Like for instance, the guy sitting in the Jeep working on it. We're watching the video through here while he's working on it. So that didn't help. So then I find the other video where it does show his camera angle from here while he's working up. But there's some things that he does so fast and doesn't let you see it, that it's almost like they skip a few steps. Like if like I think a lot too, they should have shown us like the plugins, the certain plugins where they're going a little bit better in the back as far as their tutorials go. Um, now they did say a lot about like USB cables and stuff. Now I haven't had any issues. Um, as far as so that USB still charges the phone right there you go still charges it um, a Bluetooth hooked up fine to this uh, I believe we were still able to make calls through it I think the speakers and everything we did hook up I put the mic up here uh, I ran the mic wire up through the top down here down through the bottom right here and all the way down the door line and brought it up under right here. I'm not sure if you can see that. There's two black wires, but ran them through and then up through right here. It's That was the microphone that's right there, and then the GPS we put in just above here over the back speaker. I had to actually go through the back back here to put it on and then feed the wire through here so my wife could pull it out without having to take the whole daggum top off because I couldn't fit my fat fingers back there. But we got it and then ran it down right up under here. Down the old shit handle, down the side along with it. And I did have to get a little bit of wire, like, like bailing wire or some little piece, about a foot long just to tape it to it to help pull it up through there. But other than that, we didn't have any issues as far as that goes. And like I said, the biggest issue we had was with the wire and harness. They do look like a conglomerate of horse crap, but... Like I said, don't worry. Whatever you're ordering, they should have remain everything you need in the one bag. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of extra parts. You just have to when you when you watch his videos, you have to understand that there are a lot of extra plugins there for doing extra things. Like what he said with your video and your camera, they have on some of their Jeeps, they have cameras down on the axle so that they can see clearances when they're rock crawling and everything. So there's multiple hookups on some of these plugins that they give you that will flip you out if you're not like uh i guess a uh, computer tech or not really computer tech but wiring tech and electrician tech and as far as these aspects go so my advice to you is just calm down and have a lot of patience when you deal with this all right because it's going to look like a mess but there's only like half a dozen plugins that you have to actually worry about and we did run our HDMI and our USB cables. And we did bring them down through here. They're actually zip tied up on the bottom down here in case we needed them up under the glove box. Um, I wasn't sure about it, so we did do that. And then I believe our microphone, added microphone, we plugged in right back here. I think, or we might have went down here in the dash. I can't quite remember. But anyhow... When you, when you just when you get it turned on make sure you watch the videos and you go to settings system go to your setting guide and go down in all of this stuff see that there's our factory amp let me show you uh let's see i have to go to radio do this this is how new we don't need anything program All right, let's just go back. System, factory amp. Can you see what I'm talking about? And I thought we made him messed up or something, and I turned it off, but. All right, there you go. Verse mute, dynamic guideline. The only thing I'm I have to do is. 
I need to do something as far as the reverse camera goes. I haven't gotten that far yet to, as you can see how that picture is, it's like all foggy and everything. I don't know if that's just because the camera's dirty or what. I wouldn't think so, but like I said, it does look pretty foggy out there and it's, I mean, you can look out here and it's not that foggy. And yes, that's the old Can-Am right there and the old Polaris right there. So other than that, and like I've tried switching these, there's just something we haven't done right. That's all it is this far yet. And I'm kind of new at this stuff. Like I don't, it's been a long time since I've dealt with some stuff like this in, in this in depth. But other than that guys, like I said, if you, if you think about getting this, I love this. This joker is so freaking fire. Uh, the other thing, like I said, we did have issues with the climate. It wouldn't cut on. But like I said, I walked you through that. Go do that. Now the AC kicks on. Let's see. You can touch or right here. It's on low. Hmm. Where? Oh, where? Max AC. Hmm. Where's the sink at? It blows out nice and cold though. Okay, so turn it off on low. I don't have heated seats right here in steel wheel. I wish I did. <laughs> But it works like I say you just make sure home button all right this little arrow right here take that away go down to settings in the system setting guide your car model AC Remember, just pick out what you got, and it'll pop up something different over here. And then, once you hit that, next. And then, like I said, there is. I need to find that. Of course, I don't have either one of our phones. I got. I'm using mine. I don't have my wife's. It's who makes it. But yeah, the T7 or the T T radio from Well Link Link Well Inc. That's what it is. www.linkwellinc. It's www.linkwellinc. I believe. Dot com. Any comments or anything, anything. I'll be playing with this. Uh, we got two more coming. We just got a light bar in the bracket we got to put on for this. We'll be getting to that next day or so. And then two inch wheel spacers, I believe, as well. Let's see about those. I'm not sure about those. The old lady ordered them. And <laughs> we'll find out. All right, y'all. We'll see. Have a good one.